What's up everybody, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey and welcome to our What's in the Bag series. This is where I'm going through um, everything that I use in my coaching. So these are my, my Weiss Tech essentials, the things that, the tools that I use that I feel like you, you kind of got to have some of these things if you're going to really make the most out of your ice time and get the most out of your players. So um, what's in the bag? So this is my actual coaching bag. I've been getting a few questions like what do you use for this, what do you use for that? So I figured let's just do a whole video series about all the different tools that I use in my coaching. So um, I've kind of got through some of these. Um, all of the table of contents is on weisstechhockey.com. So make sure you go there so you can see, we'll have it easily accessible where you can see like a list of all the different videos, all the different things that we cover. Um, so I've already talked about my bag in a different video. You can go check that out as well if you want. My main requirement for my bag is that it was, it needed to be able to fit my, my whiteboard, which I've already done a video about that as well. Um, so anyways, it needed to be the right size to fit my whiteboard and a few other things. Um, skates, gloves, helmet, um, a few other things that I'm talking about in each of these videos. So today, here's what I want to talk. So I've got I pulled out my skates. I've got gloves. This is there's nothing super crazy about this. Um, extra face mask, which this was just that's actually we'll talk about something else with that as well. I do keep like a helmet kit in my bag. That was just something I forgot to pull out. Um, we had a helmet problem, had to fix face mask. Um, luckily I did have my helmet kit, but what I'm talking about in this video is markers, okay? And this is a question, like this is one of the most asked questions that I get. And the problem is I did a video about which was my favorite marker a couple years ago, and then they discontinued it. And so <laughs> literally like when you find a good marker, stick with it. I don't care if you use the kind I recommend or something else. When you find a good marker that works for you, stick with it um, and so I've been testing out different markers um, you know I went on like some of the Chinese websites and it was pulling in markers from China different things trying to get a good marker that's reasonably priced um, that would work so let me show you kind of where we're at with this there's my warm-up just have a couple warm-ups in here I don't think you guys care to see that but the markers are in my pockets so that's why I gotta pull this out so here's one of the ones from China that I have been using it's okay, I don't even know what the name brand is. It's Pilot Super Color Marker. As you can see, um, it kind of drips out a little bit, so there's a lot of blue going. I wanted to show you, so this is the one I have been using, it's okay. This is one of these China ones. I don't even know, like I, I'll try to find a link for it. These are just things that I was trying them out, just try to see if I could find a new one that would replace the one that I had recommended before. Um, so I do, I have a replacement that's fantastic. I'm gonna show you that here in a second. But why I wanted to show you this one is because of this rope. So, and I've kind of got it tangled up here, but um, I always tape a rope to the marker. And now this isn't going to be all that doable right now. But the reason why is because this is makes it very easy to draw a crease. Okay. So I've got this one a little bit tangled up, but hopefully you can kind of get the idea. So you put a carabiner on one end untangle it and then what you want to do is stretch it out hang it right in the middle of the net stretch it out to where the tip of the marker is right on the edge of the crease and then plan your rope like tie your rope off to be the proper length thread so if you do it right then you hang this in the middle of the net stretch your marker out and you can draw a perfect crease anywhere on the ice so that's one way that i use markers i use markers a ton um so that's that that's why i have this i wanted to show you that let me show you the one that i have come across now and this is fantastic they have them at Hobby Lobby, um, but I also found them on Amazon for a better deal. And of course, this is as of filming, so things obviously change real quick online, but I found these ones. Okay, so these are Dr. Paint. This is my current favorite marker. I'm gonna like kind of zoom in on that, okay? This is my current favorite, this is my go-to, okay? So what I look for in a marker is the color has to be visible on the ice. That's first and foremost. If you get like a neon, like I've tried experimenting with like a neon green, and I thought I was like that that'll be perfect, like that'll show up real nice. No, it was like almost invisible on the ice. It didn't work. Even the same brand marker that I had used with something else, um, the neon green color did not show up. So I've used this, this bright orange. This is fantastic. You can hear it. Okay. So there's like a mixer ball inside that. This is a paint marker, um, extra broad tip paint marker. So first and foremost color has to be visible on the ice. This bright orange, I've tested it, it works great, which is why I went and bought a six pack, okay? Six pack, as of now, is six, uh, six markers for about 30 bucks on Amazon. 
prices could change if it does sorry but um, that's what it currently is as of filming so um, as of 2023 next thing um, so you can see this this is a it's like a spring-loaded tip so what you do is when you first start using it, you tip it upside down press that into the ice and of course the ink starts or the paint starts running into that and then once this is orange the color of the the ink or the paint then you'll be able to draw perfectly on the ice next requirement for me is the tip has to outlast the ink or the paint okay and so there have been markers that draw pretty nicely on the ice that work really well um, some of the ice chalk ones are sorry glass chalk ones they have a they're they're nice but they have like a foam tip and the foam tip disintegrates really quickly especially if you use it on ice that's been used right so if the foam the foam tip disintegrates before the rest of the same thing with the uh, bingo daubers those can be pretty good too but the tip always fades away or like disintegrates it uh, comes apart falls off peels apart um, before the ink runs out so you'll have like half a marker left worth of ink and the marker is unusable because the tip broke so um, that's why these are fantastic that's why I've gone with this style of marker okay so um, this was a 15 millimeter wide tip I'll put a link so you can get these exact ones if you want if not again I don't care this is just what I've found that works um, you want the tip to outlast the ink from there I just I'll you know once you know we kind of get back into it I will probably clean this up a little bit maybe get a new string Remeasured and everything, but you want a carabiner and then just tape it on to the right distance and then you can draw a perfect crease That's really useful for like u8s when they go on cross ice um, But then beyond that like I use them a ton Especially with the younger guys, but even with the older guys like if there's ever a cross ice drill that we want to do We want to designate a halfway line. Just it's not that hard. Just pull it out You're skating just glide and just lay the marker down as you're gliding um, past it um, if there's young kids that can't remember which way then you're supposed to go around the cone like, you know, the young kids, they always want to turn towards their strong side. And you're like, no, you got to turn that way and you got to turn the other way. So you draw it out and they just follow the line. Um, I'll tell you what, like markers, I wish I would have known about this earlier in my coaching. Um, I've used these heavily for about probably the last five years or so. And um, it's a game changer. It really are. So it really is. So I would recommend, uh, this is the one I recommend right now. But if you don't go with this one, that's fine. Get a different one, but get one that works for you. Um, the dark blues are great. Usually the reds are pretty great as well. That was the color I was using previously. My, like my favorite go-to. Blue is good. Orange, I have used these ones. Once again, Dr. Paint and uh, fantastic marker. So again, go to whitesnackhockey.com. Um, check out the link in the description if you want to go, go grab these and um, we'll keep these videos coming through. So whitesnackhockey.com, that will have the, the table of contents laid out where you can easily Check out whatever videos you want. And um, that's it. So take care. We'll see you in the next video.